Hi, my name is Katie Burgoyne. My husband and I own Denver Amramp. We install temporary handicap ramps, um, stair lifts and vertical platform lifts. Our ramps can also be permanent. Um, no permit needed, modular system, no alter alterations made to the helm. Um, one other thing that I do that you might not know is um, I sell skincare. I've been with Rodan and Fields for um, August will be five years. Uh, it started as a little side gig to get a discount on some skincare um, while I was home with our twins and it grew into a very good career or paycheck or however you want to look at it um, completely built on social media. So that's kind of what I wanted to talk to you about today was just utilizing social media to its fullest advantage. Um, I know about maybe 1% of what Facebook has to offer and it changes daily. So I'm going to share with you what I do know and um, kind of go from there. If you have questions, feel free to shoot me an email. Uh, I'm really not on Facebook as much nowadays, just with everything going on, it's kind of best option for me right now. Um, so first things first, and this is kind of, this is mainly from the point of view of selling from your personal page and not a business page. Um, I believe Deb Evans will be touch will be doing something on business pages and cause that gets into a, a whole nother thing that, um, I still, I need to do some learning on that. Um, and now be, you know, Facebook is always changing things. So for example, with the pages, they just changed that now you can actually interact on Facebook as your page owner, which is a newer thing within the last couple months. So, but okay. So um, let's just start. The first things first is don't think of yourself as a salesperson. Think of yourself as a share person. You are sharing what you do, not selling because people don't want to be sold to. People are all about sharing though. People will, people are always receptive to what you want to share with them. Um, you know, and so for example, with that, like um, I was really big into hike it baby and you know, so if I did meet people in person, you know, I always had sunscreen. I always have sunscreen to share. And that's something that's easy for me to share. That's also branded to my business. So, you know, your essential oil people, um, have, I'm sure you have samples on you have something to share for those times that you do meet people in person because you're giving them something. You're not asking for anything back, you know, and people love free stuff. Um, so I think the biggest, the biggest thing in this kind of, you know, this all kind of goes together, but I mean, as far as sharing what you do, um, you also want to, create a brand, right? So you're going to create a brand. So whenever I meet somebody, they, you know, some of the first things that come to mind are twin mom, she sells Rodan and fields and ramps, you know, or, or hiking yoga. If you follow me on Instagram, you know, but for a very long time, when I was really heavily into my MLM, people that met me just, they knew me from selling Rodan and Fields and they knew me from Facebook. I have a ton of, and I've weeded out my friends now on Facebook because I'm not as heavily into my MLM. Um, but people, I had a ton of friends on there just from our local community that just knew me from Facebook, we never met in person, you know, I maybe would run into them at the grocery store and it's like, Oh, we're Facebook friends, you know, and, and I would never make people feel sold to, I would never, re I'm never, would never send you a message on Facebook to buy skincare from me. I'm never going to shove it down your throat because 
when you meet me, I've created this brand. So you already know what I do. You know, I, I don't need to, I don't need to tell you every single time because you're well aware of the little subtle drops, like the, the sunscreen or, you know, I'm trying to think of some other scenarios with people, um, like other examples. Um, you know, a, another big thing is, so when I say, um, share and don't sell, um, look at that as like informing people. Okay. People love information. Like people love free information, free things and information. People love it. Right. So I know I was talking to Pat before and it was like, you know, a great thing for her to do is to, to release little financial tips to people, you know, because that might be something that people don't have access to. And so now you're giving them that little bit of information. So now when it comes time for me to seek out financial help and, you know, maybe now I would be in the place, you know, in five years, I'm in the place to, for a financial advisor. And I think back, well, all of those little tips that I learned, those were from Pat's Facebook page and she never asked me for anything. She always just shared this information. Um, you know, that was big. I would share skincare tips, um, you know, and don't always relate them back to, to your business. Just give people something without expecting something in return. You'll be amazed at what comes back to you, you know? So, I mean, if you've got free samples, give them all out, but give information. People love information, you know, util utilize, utilize that, be a resource for people and not just a resource about your one thing, but maybe, you know, look at that in a bigger scope, kind of go outside of what it is that you do and, you know, look at the outside circle of that and, and maybe share some of that information that that's valuable because then that's, it's going to come back to you, you know, and in, in the grand scheme of things. Um, if you do have a Facebook group, don't just add people to your Facebook group. Um, people don't, aren't real happy when you do that. And then what happens is if you add someone to your Facebook group and either one, they didn't know it or two, they didn't, they didn't want to offend you. So they're not going to leave the group, but yet they're not going to ever see any of the notifications from the group because they most likely didn't turn their notifications on if you didn't ask them to be invited to the group. And then, so now that they don't know that they're in the group, therefore they're not interacting with the group. So they're definitely not going to see any of the news feed from that group. So, um, and that's a big thing. So this is kind of the way that, uh, Facebook works and again, good old Facebook, you know, this could change like tomorrow. Um, interacting on Facebook is huge. That is like what Facebook is all about is they want you to interact. Okay. So if you're going in and you know, you've got your allotted scheduled time, you know, I spend 15 minutes on Facebook a day and that's it. And I'm going to go in, I go in, I post to all these groups about my business and, and that's it. I'm done. No one's seeing your, your posts. I hate to break it to you. Facebook knows that you're not interacting and that they, and that you're just using them for free advertisement. So your stuff just goes to the bottom of the page. Um, now say you're posting in a group and then you're interacting in that group. Um, you'll notice now Facebook puts little symbols by your name in groups. Uh, you can get a leaf for like a founding member. Um, you get different badges that you can display. That's key in the Facebook world. Okay. So if you're posting in these groups, you need to be actually interacting within the group because Facebook doesn't want you to just be a user. And 
and they just can mess with the algorithms and it doesn't, it doesn't end up benefiting you in any way that works on groups that also works on your personal page. Okay. So say, you know, um, and Facebook took away list, which was like a, such a key part, especially for MLMers that having that list was key, but, um, so on your Facebook, okay. Um, say you are, you don't ever go on Facebook, right? You just post from one of the sharing groups. Like, um, I'm going to draw a blank right now. Cause I haven't used them in a lot. Like you can pay for the different like Hootsuite where you can send out your post and same thing. Like your post can go through Instagram, but you're actually not getting on Facebook and interacting with people. You'll notice your, the view, like any views on your, those posts, your posts aren't being seen because you're not interacting. So again, Facebook knows you're just using Facebook just to just post on your page and that's it. So they want you to interact with people. Okay. And, and it's amazing how quick you, you'll see a difference, um, just in your notifications alone. Uh, for example, I've taken a Facebook break over the past couple weeks, um, everything that's going on in the world, running a business, having two kids at home, like it's just a lot, um, everyone's opinion. So I've just, I've taken a break, right? So I'll go on to check and see if there's yoga, check and see if there's a meeting I'm missing. That's it. I limit it to like 15 minutes a week. Okay. So therefore I am not interacting with anyone. So now my notifications will be, I mean, I won't go on Facebook for four days and I'll have 25 notifications and that's it. Like that's, it's very low. And that's because, you know, if you're not posting or even if I was posting, but I'm not interacting with anyone, no one is seeing that post. Okay. Um, so you, you will notice if there's certain people that you interact with a lot via messenger on Facebook, those are the people that are going to show up in your news feed the most often because Facebook knows you have similarities or you're talking, there is a friendship there. So that the way the algorithms are going to work is it's going to show that on your news feed. Okay. So same thing, anyone that you're interacting with, liking their pictures, things like that. Now for anyone that when I was big into selling, there used to be something called list. So you could actually go in to your Facebook friends and categorize them each to a list. So you could do a drop down menu with that list to just view those people. That's not an option anymore. However, if you are still kind of targeting certain people on Facebook, um, I don't mean that in a negative way, but, um, you know, if there's people that you might, you've been kind of going back and forth with, with the business, their potential customers for you, it's very important for them to see your post, right? Like you, you want to be in front of them as much as you can possibly and be in front of them. So in order for you to be in front of them, you need to be interacting with their post. You need to be interacting with their Facebook page so that the algorithms are aware and therefore you show up in their newsfeed. Now, now there's still the chance that they unfollowed you and you're not going to show up, but that's, I would hope that's rare if you're trying to get them to be a customer. Um, so that's, that's a huge thing. Interaction, both liking people's posts, commenting on posts, um, same thing within a group and interacting on messenger. Um, another thing with your, with post and, uh, uh, you really have to think of Facebook and social media in general. Um, interaction, um, among social media is just, it is so important. It's such a huge part of social media and it's, they're well aware if you're interacting, you know, so the more you're interacting, 
the more your posts are going to be seen, the more your posts are going to be, you know, spread out, spread throughout, you know, the less you're interacting, the less it's going to be seen, you know? So, um, now like, let's take for example of a Facebook post, right? Um, if you want a ton of your friends to see your post, like say you're doing a sale post, for example. And I remember, you know, I would ask friends like, Hey, I'm going to have a sale. Will you post, will you share, or can I post on your page? You know, technically what you want them to do in order for that post to get the most shares, you want to make sure that post is public on your page. And then you want them to go directly to that post and share it from there. All right. So just to give you like a breakdown and this is, um, hypothetical, but, uh, I just feel like this kind of gives you a good visualization. So say you create a Facebook post, right? And it's like, it's a sale post for your business. You know, you're, you're trying to get some, some work up some business with it. Right. Um, and Jan comes along and she likes that post, right? Well, in the Facebook world, that's worth like one point, right? She, she holds it down and thinks the post is funny, you know, cause you know, how you hold the emoji down and it goes to different options. That's worth two points. You know, she comments on the post and that's worth five points, right? But if she takes that post and shares it, like, it's like bells go off in the Facebook world and it's like, ding, ding, ding. This person is like really trying to interact, you know, so that post is worth 10 points. So now that post is seen so much more because the way it kind of moves up in those Facebook rankings and doesn't fall to the bottom which you'll notice, um, in sale groups and stuff, when people want to bump their posts, that's why it's because they want to bump it to the top. You're not really doing much by you're bumping it for a minute and it's going to move to the top of the page, but it's just eventually going to get moved straight down because there's no interaction. There's nothing going on in that post. It's not an interesting post. It's, you know, so that's why it's like, that's why your content is so important. And that's why sharing information is so important and not just sharing information that's in relation to you. I mean, how boring is it if I just share pictures of ramps over and over and over again, I'm just sharing pictures of steel ramps. Like nobody's going to follow me. That's, that's not very, you know, interesting content. Now, if I start sharing, you know, other accessibility options, other things that are out there, um, different types, ways that you can make your house accessible for inexpensive or on your own without a contractor. Um, if I'm sharing, you know, hotels that have great accessibility rooms, if I'm sharing, you know, different recreational activities that have accessibility options, things like that. I'm going to get a lot more followers because I'm sharing interesting content and it's stuff that people want to know, you know, and then people don't want to feel that they're being sold to, you know, so they want to be, they want to feel like you're giving them something and sharing something with them. So, um, oh, and the last thing is consistency. Consistency is key. It is so, so, so important. And just, you know, that that's just the biggest thing with Facebook. You know, they want you to be consistent, consistent, but a little bit different. So don't be posting the same thing every single day, because, you know, if you're posting the, a daily quote every single morning at the same time, they're not going to go for that. Other tidbit, don't just post words make sure the words have a picture or a video with it because if it just has words, it just doesn't get viewed as much as not as likely people are going to actually read through all of it. People are lazy. They want words or videos. So that's all. Thank you guys. I hope this helps some and, um, that's all. Good luck. Have a good summer.